Age of Mythology Retold has just released a new trailer for the 2024 Xbox Games Showcase and it looks amazing. But there's even better news that wasn't covered in the trailer, but we can find it on the Age of Empires website and Steam page. The release date has been announced for the 4th of September 2024, with a week's early access if you pre-order the premium edition of the game on Steam. Which means there's not too much more time to wait, and for anyone wanting to participate in the Red Bull Wallalo tournament, I'm guessing you'll need to get to grips with the game pretty quickly, as the tournament kicks off in October, so it doesn't give that much time to practice. I'll leave a link in the description for anyone that wants to view the trailer in its fullest. Now for what I think is the even juicier bits. Let's run through the updates on the AOE website. Okay, let's get into the real meat and potatoes of it after seeing the amazing trailer, which I'll put a link down in the description where we get an extra trailer. This is showing the extra versions of Age of Mythology Retold that you can get. So you can get the standard version, the premium version, or an upgrade. You'll be able to upgrade to this premium version if you feel like it. So the standard version, you'll just get the base game, which comes out on the 4th of September, which isn't that long to wait, which is pretty good news for us. But if you want to go for the premium version, then you get an extra up to seven days early access. I'm assuming if you do it after the seven days, you'll just get however many you get. The new God pack, which is Frey. I'm pretty sure you meant to say Frey. That's Frey's brother, I'm pretty sure, uh, if I know my Norse mythology. Um, a legacy deity portrait pack. Expansion number one, expansion number two. This sounds like a whole lot, so let's go down and see what this exactly is. So, Age of Mythology, standard base game, Age of Mythology retold experience. So, yep, seven days advanced access on Xbox, Steam, and PC. Then if we go down to new god packs for Frey, Age of Mythology retold premium edition adds Frey to the Norse mythology. Unleash the power of the Norse god of prosperity and fertility with the new and exclusive god packs. The blessings of Frey will elevate your reign and to unprecedented heights. So for me, this is one of the things that I was most looking forward to for Age of Mythology Retold, is getting some of the current sieves, but getting extra gods in them. So what I think when I hear this is you have your Odin, your Thor, your Loki, and hopefully you can get a new major god of Frey, which will have different paths, he'll have different unique bonuses, and then maybe different minor gods too. I mean, you can't just add extra minor gods because unless there's an extra minor god that you would add to each of Thor, Loki, or Odin, but I'm assuming it'll be a different major god and there may be some minor gods that would come with it. But that is something that I'm really looking forward to. I mean, that just gives so much that we could actually have with the other sieves, an extra Atlantean, an extra Greek, an extra Egyptian. That would, oh, that's what I'm looking forward to the most. So just starting off with one of those right from the get-go is going to be it's going to be so amazing and then there's just so much more that there's so much more that they could do with that because everyone loves the original three <laughs> i guess rather than the original four i mean i've started to like atlanteans over the last 20 years so i'm sure other people have too the legacy deity portrait pack a nostalgic journey back to the origins and gaming greatness Relive the glory days of gaming with this special pack, which offers players the option to use iconic deity portraits from the classic game. Yeah, so, I mean, this is pretty self-explanatory. Rather than the new artwork, I mean, I think the new artwork, from what we've seen of it, looks really good. But if you're not into that and you just want to play with the old artwork, I mean, I'm sure a lot of people wanted to do that. And I'm sure there would have been people modding it to make that happen anyway. So I'm very happy that they'll just be able to give that to us especially if you go for the if you go for the premium version which isn't that much more than the standard version and then two upcoming expansions so expansion number 1 is an all new chinese pantheon expansion so by all new i'm hoping i'm assuming and hoping that it isn't the chinese from extended edition i'm hoping that they've completely redone it and it won't be anything like that. I'm just hoping that they just completely redo it. I mean, obviously they can keep some of the gods, the major gods and the minor gods, but just to completely rework how the Chinese work, give them different god powers or change the god powers because they just feel, they just feel so broken in every way. And rather than saying things that I would like to change about it, just starting fresh, like where it says all new. And then when there's some trailer for this, I think that would be really a really cool thing to see. And then expansion number two, an additional new pantheon, which is even more hype. I mean, could it be the Aztecs that 
people have made the mod for on EE? Could it be something else? Could it be the Mayans or the Hindu pantheon? They could, could, they could do anything. I'm not sure what would be the most popular. I think Aztecs probably would be, but then I think there would be people not liking the Aztecs because the mod for EE was so great, but it's definitely hype for expansion number two. And then just while we're here, I thought we'd go over some of the FAQs. I will put a link to these down in the description, um, but I just think it's a good thing to go over. So the game will be released on September the 4th, 2024. This is the main point of this page. If you already own Age of Mythology Extended Edition on Steam, you'll get a discount. So I've looked, it's a 15% discount. If I were just to look at my Steam page, it's for me, I mean, mine, I'm British, it's in pounds, but it's down from £38 to £32.29. I don't know what that'll be in dollars. Maybe it'll be $40 down to whatever 15% off of that is. But that is some good news for anyone that has extended edition. And that's pretty much it. I'm super excited that we've got a release date and there's some more content coming and we just know more about what's actually happening rather than being kept in the dark a little bit. So I'm definitely excited about that. I'm really excited to see what Expansion 2 could end up being and what additional new Pantheon they're going to choose. Put your guesses down below of what you think the new Pantheon is or what you would hope it is going to be. And yeah, we'll see you in the next one.